The following is a short video tutorial on how to make a rectangular volume and warp it into a tunnel volume with GPR Slice software. Normally you'll start out with a volume that you've already generated in the software and it'll be a solid volume. And this volume will have been created from a X survey where X is along the axis of the tunnel. Once you have your rectangular volume made, you simply go to the 3D volume, volume tunnel warp menu, and you'll set the start angle and the end angle uh, for warping this volume. You'll also set the inside radius in cells. Let's start the processing up. Uh, the inside radius is set in cells, and this one is set as 50, and this gives us the uh, equivalent depth. That 50 is based on your original rectangular volume. This rectangular volume that we're warping into a tunnel volume is 200 by 200 by 96. And 96 is the uh, equivalent to 70 nanoseconds in depth. And based on your velocity model, you can calculate the actual depth. So you actually have an option in GPR slides to set uh, uh, the tunnel radius to an apparent size. It could be smaller than the actual size or to the actual true size. But you can imagine if your tunnel is super large, has a large uh, radius, that the, the total volume that you're generating could actually be quite large. We actually have a review of all the steps that are needed. Step one is to create an info X, or information file that's with the x-axis along the axis of the tunnel. The y0 and the y1s can be the relative angular positions along the tunnel. So if they were every 10 degrees, you can set y0, y1 are equivalent to every 10 degrees or every 5 degrees. And once you have that information, you'll set your, your start and end angles and the inside radius, and you will either do a warping from the tunnel from the inside, and this particular one we're doing from the inside, but you can also warp, create a warped volume from the outside, from a survey from the outside of a tunnel. It generates a new uh, 3D volume called tunnel that's appended onto the original rectangular volume. We just come over to here and we click that new volume on and we can actually look at it through here. Uh, we're bouncing it through there. There's a, a Z plane. We can actually see the Y plane which is a little bit more indicative of the tunnel and we can bounce through there. Now one thing about when you do the, um, uh, the tunnel warping you can see a little bit of gritting noises moving the cells along to do the warping. If you want to create a little bit smoother volume you can go into the grid menu and go down to the 3x3x3 or the 5x5 low pass filter options and you can create a smoother volume. We've already done that to save a little bit of time in this video. It's right over here. This was done with the 3x3x3 low pass filter to the volume. And you can see the elements like a little bit smoother. And we can actually put up a Y plane. Exaggeration. And you can store that. And we can also put on an ISO surface as well. And there's our 3D volume that's been warped into a tunnel. Uh, this is with tunnel warping. We have other advanced processes in GPR Slice where we can actually take vector radiograms slice vector radiograms and create a 3D volume where we do 3D volume interpolation. That will be shown in a separate video.